So you want particle swarming behavior? Not a problem. Real quick, I learned this trick from watching and combining Mr. Holtz and Sam Schroeder's video techniques here. So check them out if you want a more in-depth explanation. Otherwise, start with the hanging particle, delete the sprite renderer, and replace it with a mesh renderer. You can override the material if you want, and then change the facing to velocity. Remember to set target sim to GPU and bounds to fixed. Instead of using the sprite size, now you can control the mesh size. Delete aerodynamic drag, scale sprite size, scale color, add normal drag, set it to 12, and remove the rotational option. Click the wind force and set turbulence to none, and change wind speed to 15 and X to 15. Add a point of attraction force, strength to 120, radius to 5,500, Add a default gravity force, add a vortex force, change it to 600 and Z to 100, add a curl noise, set it to something like 7000 and frequency to 1 and Z to 0.5. Then add another curl noise and set that to negative 5000 and frequency to 1 and X to negative 0.5. Increase the spawn rate to something like 700 so you can see it. You're done. If you really want to make it a little cooler so you can see it interact with light, on the right under lighting, turn cast shadows on and you will get actual shadows for the effect. And it will always try and stick to the origin. So if you parent the origin to a black hole, the particles will look like they're following the black hole. Anyway, hope that helps. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.